My name's Mark Prophet, and I'm the author of Predictive Innovation. I'm going to explain how the cult of minimum viable product kills startups. Are you sacrificing your success to the cult of minimum viable product? MVP is a popular mantra in the startup world. Like other religious dogma, it's based on half-truths and myths, wastes your time and money, and prevents you from finding the truth. So, how does MVP kill startups? Satisfying customers is the number one most important goal of a business. If you don't focus on satisfying customers with laser beam accuracy and Olympic power lifter intensity, then give up on your dreams of profits. As a startup, your goal is to get enough real paying customers so that your business pays you instead of sucking your life out, leaving you to beg in the unemployment line. Do you actually want a lean startup? Isn't fat pockets overflowing with cash what you really want? Well, you can have it if you do the correct thing. Minimum viable product sets the wrong relationship with your potential customers. You want happy customers. You want customers jumping up and down, telling their friends how great your product is. You want customers blown away by the tremendous value they get from you. Minimum viable product says, give the least customers will accept, do the least you can get away with, then clock out for the day. Apple certainly didn't get more money than the U.S. government by shoveling junk. If you want premium prices and hordes of fans, you better give customers something insanely great. The bare minimum is what third world dictators drop for their poverty-ridden, suffering slaves. Paying customers have a choice, and it isn't the minimum. Customers want the best and will gladly pay to get it. Customers want value, not products. I'm going to say that again. Customers want value, not products. Another example of the backwards cult-like thinking of minimum viable product is the word product. Customers don't care about your product. Customers want the results. If they could get the results without any product, that's exactly what they would do. Customers eagerly pay for valuable results. The more value you can deliver, the more money customers will pay, and the happier they will be doing it. I hate silly buzzwords and acronyms because it oversimplifies a serious topic that requires some care and thought. But if you need a buzzword, I suggest this. Most Possible Value, or MPV. That puts the focus on the correct things, delivering value. Deliver the most value you can. What can you profitably deliver with the resources available? That is where most people stumble. They falsely believe they must build super expensive solutions. That leaves most entrepreneurs fearful and willing to cut corners to try to sneak the minimum past. Stop. Delivering value is much easier than building a product. Remember, customers want value. They want the results. They don't care how you deliver the value. When you break out of the old thinking and focus on delivering value, then you can see there are dozens of ways of achieving the real goal of profitably satisfying customers' unmet desires. If this got you thinking, then please share it. If you want to know what customers value now and four to six product generations into the future, plus all the ways to deliver the most possible value using readily available resources, then you need to learn Predictive Innovation. Visit PredictiveInnovation.com. I look forward to teaching you how to deliver the most possible value.